Death starts. Oh, the rabbits are gnawing at the stalks. Rats haunt the crawl spaces. Roaches swarm in the cupboards. He was bleaching on Maui when Sal buzzed. Now death snowed under. Island shirt on a peg. And not happy. He's lost his room to pump. Death starts cracking his knuckles, plotting inroads with the finger bones stroking pleasure lines on his mouse, plotting the asphalt bands on Earth's face, crossing millions of threads of wet dough, letting Earth dry, letting the corners care for themselves. That's it. That's his idea. He checks his pockets. Not one adequate plague, except these millions of cars driving and spreading like blue. He thinks, by odds, dozens of trunks will have hands still by wire hangers, tightly twist and sweat. <laughs> Burrow or dry. Inches of gypsum, emptiness, and wood from my air. My dying neighbors lower to their cushions. They have fingers like little throats, cinched by the same golden dough. They say, what? And where? And offer each other tea and watch killers get caught in black and white. Their long ears dwarf the beads that roll in from strands the film wears and they break. Their boredom looks like melting candles. When they sleep, they're like mudslides. And on the other side, the same small inches of wall and space, and the taut faced girl lives quietly. I hear the flickers glow blue on her wall. Our same noir, our same shadows, our same mist and easy rainfall, our shared grass stepped flat and choked in virgin mud. The hermaphrodite worms and snails must fuck with joy for being safe on her stoop. Her chair reclines out of sight, but I know she breathes from her pouty mouth. She has a bad, bad cold and sips it hot lemon and honey, while a Maine coon licks himself on her silk.